What's up guys, welcome to my channel. For those that don't know, my name is Alina Smith. I'm a writer and producer for projects like Itzy, Red Velvet, Produce 101, Sorn, Sun Me, and many others. And on this channel, we discuss all things music production and songwriting. So if you'd like to join our community, hit that subscribe button down below. All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing a production walkthrough for the song I, which just came out on the new Lightsome mini album. So I originally wrote and produced this song with my friends Anije, who are an amazing Australian production and songwriting team, and my friend Giselle Acevedo. Now we originally wrote the song for another artist, but a couple of months later we heard that there was interest from Lightsome and the producers Galactica, who are very well known production team in Korea, came on board and they ended up finishing this track and recording Lightsome on it. So I'm telling you guys all of this just to let you know what I have is is our demo track, which is quite similar to the final track, but there might be some parts I won't be able to show you or play you just because um, they didn't end up being in the final song or they're a little bit different in the final song. But that being said, I think this should be really fun and educational to go over all the parts. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. All right guys, so I have the verse right here. When I look into your eyes, Okay, so the first thing I gotta tell you guys about this is that um, the key was changed. They actually lifted the key a full step above where we had it. I love the new key. I think the girls sound amazing on it. Uh, but this is just for all of y'all that are aspiring to write songs for k-pop or for other genres like don't get too caught up with the key i've had songs lowered i've had songs lifted it's as long as it's in the vicinity it's okay so we have this little harp moment right here it's actually like an actual harp from ableton included with Ableton, it isn't anything outside of it, so super simple. And then it just uh, was processed with a little bit of EQ and spaced out reverb, which I really love from Baby Audio. So I have a bounce of this part right here, but I, I can tell you exactly how it was made. Basically, I played these as block chords on uh, a piano, you know, using a piano sound or whatever it was. And then basically I used Ableton's arpeggiator to create the motion, the rhythmic motion that it's doing right now. And it's very simple processing. I just have it panning from left to right a little bit. And honestly, that's it. All right, so I'm, I've also bounced this down, but I'm pretty sure this was Diva, which is one of my favorite plugins for uh, synths. And yeah, I just played, you know, the chords um, for this really simple, um, nothing crazy. The only thing I could say is that there's a little bit of an EQ like filtering going on. If you listen to this, um, the envelope opens up towards the end. You can hear it right here. It gets a little bit brighter. Okay, so what we have here is a fill that I've constructed, uh, basically combining these hits together out of another song that I produced, a Western song I produced, honestly, like three years ago. Uh, I just, a lot of the times, this is a great tip for you producers, if you like something you've made for a song, save it. I have this folder right here, Alina made, and it's just drums, effects, just di different things from different songs over the years that I can reuse. So, and right here, this is really fun. So this is a pitched 808 Tom that I'm using as a pluck. So lots of fun on that. So we have this little fill right here too. Yeah, I basically just find um, drum parts that I like and I cut them up. All right, so now we have the second part of the first verse. This is actually my favorite part of the song. Um, I really love like what they did and I loved the original demo. It was like 2020 vision. I can see one plus one as you is you and me. Like it was just like a really fun tongue twisty lyric and I love what they did with it. Anyway, we've got some little cute plucks coming in right here. 
This is just Spire, um, honestly a pretty old sample from like 2016, I think, from like a tropical house uh, kid. Got a little bit of delay on it, EQ limiting, nothing crazy. Then obviously we get some more drums coming in. We've got a big kick. This is an Oliver kick. It sounds like they've kept it too. It is, it is a good one. <laughs> Oliver samples are really good. Then I've got this little snare right here. It, it sounds like in their mix, it's really like down in the mix. Mine was like really loud. Like you guys know, I like to crank up snares. Um, the bass part, so they actually worked on the bass part. I really love what they did. Um, the bass part that I have has a little bit more notation in it and it's a little bit of a different sound. I think I was going for more of like a deep house sound and they just wanted something a little bit crunchier, but I'll play for you real quick. Yeah, and to make that, it's a combination of just like a bass shot from Splice and Spire again. All right, and now we go to the pre-chorus. I do love that part, especially that Fallen and Fallen in, which is actually exactly what was in the demo as well. That was so, like, it took me a while to figure out that chord walk up. Um, and I remember being in the Zoom session with an EJ and then being like, oh, like, you know, do we need that? And I was like, yeah, we need this crazy walk up, I promise you. Uh, so I'm really glad they kept that. Um, you could see kind of me working that out here with MIDI. You know, it took me a second to like figure out the notation and then I just doubled it with other parts. So it's quite a bit like in the record, obviously it doesn't sound like there's that many things. Falling and falling and and Cause the vocal is so loud, but yeah, that's actually <laughs> a little stack of uh, instruments doing that moment. So yeah, as far as the main instrumental elements, we have this here. It just sounds like a Juno synth. Uh, you can see it here, it's frozen with a little bit of pumping on it. Uh, yeah, like if I unfreeze it. Yeah, basically the one knob pumper creates that wah, wah, wah kind of effect. So, and then on top of it, I have this vocal chop. My CPU is not happy with me. <laughs> it's crackling all over the place. Looking at the file name, it sounds like actually something that is my voice that has been in another song and was processed and then I reprocessed it again for this song. So don't be afraid of doing things like that. This is honestly a great way to create samples is for them to go through many rounds of like changes and twists. That's how they get more and more interesting. And then we've got a nice little effects package here. A clap impact. This is actually quite interesting. It's actually a sound of a crowd screaming without the pumper. It sounds like this. But when you put the pumping on it, it almost becomes like a, a synth of sorts. And now let's listen to the chorus. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this part is actually where the song started. This is how we started writing it is da, 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 da. when we first got together, I was like, I think for this type of song, we need to have a really, really catchy part and like base the whole song around it. So that's what we did. So obviously we have a vocal that follows a bass or a bass that follows a vocal, however you want to look at it. So the bass is doing the exact same notation as the vocal. And then we just have a simple kick and clap. So this is a really simple part, like focused on the vocal. And the chorus is honestly like a very large version of the verse, um, you know, where the bass, if you listen really carefully, the Galactica did this, not me, but my bass was this kind of like ongoing uh, rolling part that's just, you know, doesn't have a lot of breaks. You can even see it in the MIDI. It just keeps going. They had a few breaks that they wrote in specifically for the verse, but on the chorus, they have it pretty much doing this. 
yeah, and then we just have a few things, you know, like a crash here, obviously. Top of the course, it's kind of a necessary thing. There's some additional snares. Just adding a little more texture. There's some open hi-hats. But yeah, super simple. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. That is how we produce the song. As always, if you have questions, make sure you put them down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you know exactly when I'm posting videos and you don't miss any. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna go. So have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys very soon.